Hey everybody, uh, in this video we're going to be talking about hydroponics equipment purchased from Amazon. Is it any good? Is it rubbish? Should you stay away from it? Should you buy it? I will answer all of these questions shortly. Uh, I'll also put links in the description below for all of the products that I'll be talking about and uh, hopefully I can give you some insight as to whether you should uh, build your own hydroponic system or buy a pre-built one from Amazon. Let's get to it. So here is the system from Amazon. Now it's a system that if you type hydroponic system into Amazon, uh, you'll see something like this or systems very similar uh, using a lot of the same uh, pipe work you can see here, these end caps, the same uh, dimensions of pipe. Uh, there'll be variations on this theme as well as um, this one exactly. I think that it's still sold. Um, but last time I checked on Amazon UK, it was it was out of stock. But there's single level ones. This one has one, two, three levels. See, I am currently just growing on the bottom and middle level, which I will explain later. So to give you a, a general overview of the system, it's um, an NFT system, which stands for Nutrient Film Technique, uh, and what that means is that the nutrient water, which starts off uh, in this reservoir down here, and you can see, um, is taken up by pump, which you can see at the back, just here, there's a pipe coming out. Water travels through that pump into this top section here, and it goes through each of these channels, creating a, a small nutrient or liquid nutrient film uh, flowing through these pipes. It will then cascade down, down this pipe here, into this bottom layer, through all these pipes, and then back down into the reservoir there. You can see it being deposited. Um, this also oxygenates the solution, this movement of water back, back down into the, um, the reservoir. It acts similarly to a pump in a decorative pond. Um, it allows for the movement of air and oxygen, which is good for the plants. So, uh, yeah, nutrient film technique is where a small layer, thin layer of nutrition flows past the root plants, um, and the plants are kept in these uh, net cups here. So let me just pull one of those out so you can see. So, see, just at the bottom, if it focuses, tiny root poking out there, and that is making contact with the water in the channel. Uh, as you might have noticed, there's an issue in this type of deck mainly with algae, which can be quite common if there's overexposure to sunlight um, and algae present or, or lights. Um, I do have lights in the system, which I'll explain again in a minute. Um, but the key difference with this system, as opposed to other uh, NFT systems, is that uh, these channels are flat, they're parallel to the ground and to one another. Usually an NFT channel will be slightly slanted so that the water flows, but these work on more of a, a flooding basis. So as the compartment fills, once it's reached, you know, this level where the exit pipe is, it will fill and then start to cascade. So it it's not quite a nutrient film. The water depth is maybe an inch, which is, is quite deep for NFT. Um, but it still works. It, it kind of acts almost uh, as a safeguard if the um, pump was to stop. The roots of the plants would still have the water that's in that chamber, keep them alive, they would dry out. So it's actually you know, fairly good in that regard. However, it does lead to some standing water, which can be an issue. Um, however, as you can see down here, I've been quite successful with growing this lettuce crop. Um, this rocket or arugula, if you're American, on, on top is not quite as successful, but it's uh, it's starting to perk up. I'll see if it survives. But this bottom, this bottom uh, lettuce crop is, is almost ready to harvest. Um, and uh, there's a different, there's two varieties. So this, this sort of floppy leaf variety, and there's this one at the front, which is slightly smaller. Um, this came from a commercial hydroponics farm that I, I work on. They were being sort of 
discarded. Um, so I took them home to see for bring them back to life, and they've done quite well. Um, but yeah, so all plants uh, obviously need. Oh, I, I should go into detail actually about what actually comes with this system. So as you can see, there's quite a few different elements going on here. Starting at the top, we've got two sets of lights, uh, foil behind the lights, the channels and chambers themselves, tray at the bottom here, a reservoir uh, and a pump. So with the actual kit ordered through Amazon, what came with it was the pipe work so the frame that holds all the pipes, the pipes themselves, pump, and all of these uh, net pots, they all came with it, as well as a sheet of these sponges for putting the seeds in to then put in the net pots. So that's all included. Um, I think the price was around £100, um, but I've... You've spoken to other people who've uh, bought this same system and uh, they managed to get a coupon that was available at the time um, and got it for as, as cheap as £60, which I suppose is around sort of $70, $80. Um, but lots of people have asked me about this system and whether it's actually any good. So I thought I would do a trial run of using it uh, over a few weeks, probably been closer to a couple of months now, um, to see if it works, if it's any good, if it's a waste of money, if it's not. And I mean, I would say, by and large, it's it's quite good. It's small, it does what it says, mostly. Um, and that's going to be in reference to this top deck. Um, but you do need to buy some uh, additional extra parts because... There's no reservoir included, there's no lights included, so depending on whether you're growing uh, outdoors in season, where you've got a lot of sunlight, you'll be all right. But if, like me, you're growing indoors, it's now um, November. So kind of off-seasonal growing or colder growing, colder climate growing, fewer sunlight hours, it makes sense to have some additional lighting. Um, I've also got, you know, ventilation in this room and um, heating as well. So, and yeah, this black tray at the bottom that you can see is just a giant um, tray for shoes, like for boots, but uh, it works well because unfortunately my office carpeted. So if any water spills, carpet could get moldy. It could uh, cause lots of issues and um, don't want that to happen. So I've got this big tray underneath. You'll see that with some of my other systems. Uh, these are all trays for boots and shoes. They work really well. They're waterproof, uh, easy to clean, and they catch any drips. So um, just to talk about the lights, you can see here. Um, these are, again, off Amazon, relatively inexpensive, um, and they just daisy chain together. So you can attach... So you go down here. This layer, you can attach as many as you want indefinitely. So I bought two sets and they come in packs of two, just, just turn them on. But they're, um, a purple grow light. So they've got this purple color, blue, red, um, spectrum, which is kind of mainly beneficial for growing. Um, but they cause flicker for the camera. So I won't keep them on for very long, but you can see they provide quite a good amount of light. Um, mm -hmm. For the price anyway and uh, i added foil as you can see uh the top part uh, and the foil is purely to just reflect back down some of the light to improve efficiency it's definitely not kind of maximized we could put foil all the way around so no light escapes even better could put it in a, a grow tent but just as a proof of concept for not needing loads and loads of specialist equipment it is possible to sort of just use household goods kind of jerry rig a setup and they're just held in place with cable ties to the frame you can see there so let me just shut that off so there we go this is what's flickering um and yeah as for the reservoir uh, it's just a plastic 
uh, storage container, storage bin, tote, which I then cut some holes in for the uh, the pump hose to exit and for the runoff uh, pipe to go back in um, and then pull it off. I need to fill it up or if I need to, uh, for example, add any nutrition or um, hydrogen peroxide, anything like that. Uh, so this top deck, which I've mentioned a few times, the reason it's empty uh, and disconnected is because the pump came standard with the kit. You can see it just there. So this pump uh, that came standard with the kit, when I put all three decks on and ran the hose all the way to the top deck up there, the pump just didn't seem to be strong enough to pump water all the way to the top. Um, and then I bought a bigger pump. So let me just, you can see there. Bought a bigger pump um, and tried different configuration. Uh, and it would work, but then after time it would it would struggle. And I just couldn't. I tried, you know, adding more water. I tried changing the size of the hose, uh, increasing the pressure. Uh, and I just couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Uh, and eventually I decided to just reduce the head height uh, head height being the height at which um, the pump can effectively move water. So I decreased the head height by reducing uh, the distance that it had to travel by making it just a two deck system instead of three deck system. And then it worked absolutely fine. And I never had any problems since it ran smoothly. Um, the only problem I ever got was the algae that you saw. Um, and while there's a bit of color in the water, there was a time when it was completely green. You could see algae visibly growing in it. Uh, and to treat that, I just uh, got rid of all the water that was in there. Um, washed, got as much water out of the system as I possibly could. Um, pumped it all out. You just used the pump. So I disconnected the hose from, the, from here. So I, I disconnected the hose from here and then just put that into um, a container and so pumped all the water into the container, then uh, replaced all the water with fresh water, and then have regularly been adding uh, hydrogen peroxide on a daily basis. So the hydrogen per peroxide that I use is uh, this liquid oxygen by Growth Technologies. Um, the record is quite strong, so it's 11.9%. So I use, as recommended on the bottle, um, one milliliter per liter of water um, and I've got roughly 20 liters of water running through this system so I started off doing 20 milliliters but I've recently scaled it back to, to 10 milliliters per day um, and it seems to have worked just fine the uh, the algae is not not proof to be a problem again um, or not a problem in as much as uh, the bottom deck has thrived whereas the top deck is uh, less successful but I'm, I'm happy to sort of ride that off and just see how it works out as an experiment. And then the nutrient that I'm using is growth technologies as well. It's Formula X, which is their universal profile. So it's not an A and B mix, it's all combined. Um, and again, that is at a ratio of five milliliters per liter of water. So um, I check the second. Uh, I check the EC, the electrical conductivity of that, fairly regularly and make sure that I'm happy with it, um, as well as the EC, pH, uh, and keep those balanced. Uh, so my overall opinion of the system is for the price, if you're either an absolute beginner, well, if you're an absolute beginner, it might not be the best uh, for understanding the basic principles of hydroponics, but it's definitely a good system for somebody who's going from pure beginner to a bit more of an intermediate perspective on uh, the hydroponics practice or any, I should say an intermediate, um, uh, looking at a, a more complex system with some motorized parts. And it's quite nice because all the motorized parts being just the pump are included 
and uh, you only have to attach your own reservoir and lights if you are growing indoors. So hopefully that answers any questions or queries about whether this is a worthwhile system. Is it just a load of rubbish? Is it not? I would say no, it's definitely not a load of rubbish. You can clearly grow plants in it. You just need to make sure that you know how to maintain the system, how to feed the plants properly, how to keep it clean, um, and how to provide them with the light and nutrition they need. Thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully I answered some of your questions. And I'd like to take some time to just say, if you're interested in learning about hydroponics, perhaps you want to start a business and make some money with hydroponics, join us over on School. There'll be a link on screen now. It's a great place to learn everything you ever wanted to about hydroponics with like-minded people, professionals, beginners, everything you ever need. So I'll see you there.